Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, I am your host, Mrs. M, and I'm so excited to have you here. If you haven't, make sure you click the link below. That way you subscribe to my channel and not miss out on anything you need to scale your business to six figures and beyond. Ow. So in this video, I'm going to give you eight tips, eight strategies, eight tips, boom, 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 that really worked for me when I was looking for winning contracts, six figure contracts specifically, okay? So I'm going to share my screen with you and we're going to get started and uh, let's go. So let's come here. The first thing I'm going to share with you is you must be visible and attractive. Now, if I were putting my hat on as a contracting officer representative or government buyer, this is where I would go. This is where I'd start. I'm looking for contracts under a certain amount. Maybe I'm doing a micro purchase, which is paying for your services or products with a government credit card. Or if I'm looking for something under 250, this is my sweet spot. If I'm looking to woo you and find you and court you, this is where I'm going to go. So let's act as if we're a contracting officer representative or a government buyer, and we've got something in mind that we're looking for someone, and we've seen a little bit about them so we know their cage code. We can be very specific. We can come in here and we can put in the NAX codes. Keywords, very important. But for today, I want you to act like this particular contracting officer, and you can do three types of searches. One, you can put in NAX code, see what comes up. Two, you can put in keywords and see if you're found. And three, you can simply come here and you can put in a cage code. So I have a cage code here. I'm gonna go down to the end and I'm going to put in search criteria. Now this particular person um, I know, so we're gonna look at what they have. So let's make sure I clicked it correctly. So let's come here to sort to the search criteria and boom, you should come up if you are in the DSBS profile, Dynamic Small Business Search Profile. So I'm going to look and make sure if I look at this particular company, I'm looking to make sure that they have their information here, their website, I can find their phone number, their contact information, and most importantly, I can download their capability statement. So this is an SBA profile, which is your DSBS profile. Very, very important. Now, that would be the first thing I would do. Now, I'm going to stop sharing. So that's the first thing I want you to do to be able to be visible and attractive. Attractive means if I click onto the link, it's going to take me to the website. Your website should have your government services on there. Attractive means you have your, your capability narrative filled out, your keywords. So remember, do a search in three areas. One, Put it in with the NAX code and see if you come to uh, a part of the search which you're looking for. You want the contracting officers or contracting buyers, representatives to be able to find you. One, look at it from the NAX codes. Two, very important, look at it from the keywords. Are you being found with the keywords for your industry, your, your special something you want to make sure you put in there that you're found with the keywords, your signature statement. I always say my government signature system should be something that I create and it is going to help me do what? Be stand out, to stand out. The third thing is putting your NAX code, or I'm sorry, putting your cage code and see if they can find you. Simple as that. Now I've given you one and now let's look at number two. Number two is one of the ways you're going to win are by multi, multi, year contracts, one year with four year options. Now, if you're just getting started, sure, go for the one-time projects. That's not something you want to settle on. This is something that could be a game changer for sure. So look for number two, strategies to get to that six figures. And when six figure contracts is by doing multiple years, one year with the multi-year option, like four. Then you want to look to see who is actually winning contracts, who is actually winning contracts in your specific socioeconomic area. So let's say you're a woman who's awarding women contracts the most, veteran, who's awarding veteran contracts the most, if you're black owned, who's won awarding black owned contracts the most. Well, we pretty much know that veterans are going to be, you know, the 
the, the small disadvantaged veterans. That's going to be that. So veteran affairs, woman owned. I've done a video on that. I'll make sure you link so that you can see who is actually hiring women owned small businesses. Really important. The third I mentioned, black American small owned businesses. So who are actually hiring, contracting us, small businesses, you, all of us, okay? So if you're a black owned African American business, Department of Defense is one of the major players. And I've always talked about doing business with the army, always, always, always. So I would look at doing business with the Navy, the army and the United States Air Force in that order. The Army does a lot. The Navy does a lot. The United States Air Force does a lot. Yes, Department of Defense can be a tough agency to get started in, but it's worth it. Veteran Affairs, if you're looking at doing it, if you're a veteran, and believe it or not, Department of Education is a big one, and Department of Energy. So those are really, really great. So look at the numbers. Go into usaspending.gov, become educated. It's just going to let you know where you want to go. Narrow it down. I always say the, the the riches are in the niches. So as you niche down more and more, and then you come in, you're going to start looking at, okay, this agency hires me. People that are like me, look like me. That's what you want. I'm a veteran, disabled veteran. Look at veteran affairs. So now you get the gist of it. The next thing you want to talk about is, uh, let's see here. The money is in the follow-up. And I mean follow-up. Now, I have like these email scripts that I give to our students and you can create one yourself. Your email script should be something similar to what you're doing to save them money, save them time. What do you have different? You know, do you have this disinfectant system or do you have the cybersecurity software that you've created to do something a certain way? Or do you have the system with software with the elevators? Are you using AI, artificial intelligence? Boom, boom, boom. What are you doing that you want to make sure you follow up? Do not just send one email and say, that's it. Follow up, follow up, follow up. The money is in the follow up. It took a long time for me to understand. I always thought I'm going to bug people, but you'd be surprised. Persistence pays off, especially if you have something to say that catches your attention. So the money is in the follow up. What's your schedule like? Are you doing it every week? Are you doing it every two weeks? How often are you doing your follow ups? And do you have a viable email script? Make sure you have that. Also, you can do it when it comes to a phone script. Have a phone script. I did so many phone scripts when I was getting started, actually calling the agencies, looking at who's spending the money, looking to see, following the trails, we say the breadcrumbs to see where it leads to. And I narrowed it down, did my follow-up, had an actual schedule that every two weeks I did this, this, and this. Another thing you can do, number six, is are you able to access over hundreds of bids? You should have access to over hundreds of bids a week whether you're doing sam.gov, which is free, or you have a low cost bidding platform that works well. I'm not going to recommend any because we do use them, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want anyone to feel like that I'm pushing anything. But you do want to find one. They could go anywhere from $10,000. Now, these are people winning $20 million contracts. They need all this. And there's some that are worth that, you know, you can get a bidding platform for $25 or $30 when it comes to federal. Most of the federal ones you are going to have to pay for state may be free. So access to a bidding platform is number six. Number seven, are you teaming? Are you teaming with individuals? You're welcome to join our Facebook group. I'll have the link in the, um, in the description. Teaming is important. Teaming, teaming, teaming. I teamed and teaming with other individuals was really, really phenomenal. It helped us win six-figure contracts because I may not have had one thing. They had something else. It truly works. And the last thing is your mindset. How are you thinking? Do you think you can do it? Do you think you can't do it? Trust me, mindset is everything because that's what motivates you to do all of this that I'm talking about. So make sure your mindset is straight, teaming up with others who have the same mindset as you, joining Facebook group with other like-minded individuals, getting out and going to events. All of these things can help you win a six-figure contract. Yes. And you can do that relatively easier than you probably think. So don't look at this as a side hustle, a little something, something to do. Look at this as a game changer because that's what it is. Now, if you'd like to gather more information, then guess what you can do? You can join me by clicking the link and actually coming to my weekly 
GovCon Lunch and Learn. Every week, I teach something different. So I'd love to see you there. Make sure you click the link in the description to sign up. And I will look forward to seeing you again soon. So until next time, be safe and take care. And I will look forward to seeing you soon. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.